Hello, and thank you once again for visiting my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about low salt and or no salt salad dressings. Because much like tomato sauce, a lot of salad dressings are actually secret sodium bombs. And if you have to eat a low sodium diet for health reasons, or you just choose to for personal preference, it would be very beneficial for you to know what you're working with, what to avoid, and what to go for. And thankfully, there are a bunch of healthy, tasty, no-salt options out there. But to that point about salad dressings being a secret sodium bomb, I'll just give you a few examples. Like one serving of your average ranch dressing, which is one tablespoon, contains 122 milligrams of sodium. That's practically a quarter of my daily so sodium intake, just for a tablespoon of salad dressing. Similarly, French dressing has on average 134 milligrams of sodium per serving. Italian dressing has 243 milligrams of sodium per serving. Caesar dressing has 158 milligrams. And Thousand Island dressing has 138 milligrams of sodium per serving. And these are some of our most common favorite dressings. But, like I said, thankfully there are healthy options out there. And they're tasty and they eliminate the salt altogether. And here are a few of those options, all of which I personally use. Number one, lemon juice. If you're a citrus person like me, then you can't go wrong with lemon juice because it makes everything taste great, including salad. And as a bonus, you can even throw it on your pasta to substitute for tomato sauce. Number two, oil and vinegar. This classic option makes any salad taste amazing. And with the variances in vinegar, like white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, combined with olive oil or the oil of your choice, there's really a diversity of flavor to be had. Plus, I learned a little while ago that oil plus vinegar plus spices equals pretty much any Italian dressing. So you can whip something up at home real quick that tastes great and just leave out the salt. Number three, balsamic vinegar. In my opinion, balsamic vinegar tastes amazing and livens up any salad. Now, there is a difference between balsamic vinegar and vinaigrettes. You have to watch with vinaigrettes because some contain little to no sodium, while others contain lots of sodium. So when grabbing one off the shelf at your local store, just make sure to check the label on the back to see the sodium content. Don't just assume, like I did for a very long time, that all vinaigrettes have low to no sodium. Number four, DIY ranch dressing and DIY dress dressings in general. If you have the right equipment, ranch dressing is fairly easy to make at home. All the ingredients you need are eggs, lemon juice, white vinegar, pepper, onion powder, extra virgin olive oil, dill, and parsley. And in general, you can make all your favorite dressings at home if you have the right ingredients and just simply leave salt out of the equation. Number five, low slash no salt added store-bought salad dressings. I've never come across these personally in stores, but on Amazon and other online vendors, you can find no salt added versions of certain dressings like Italian and ranch and so forth. If you can find it and get it to your house easily, and you'd prefer that over any of the other options I just went through, then by all means, go for it. Like I said, I just haven't tried any myself, but I'm sure they're great. In my life, I frequently use apple cider vinegar, oil, lemon juice, red wine vinegar, and balsamic vinegar for various salad dressings. So I don't have to worry about added salt at all. And in my opinion, of course... The salads taste great. Salad dressing is just one of those things, sodium-wise, where unless you had to know, you probably wouldn't know that your average store-bought salad dressing is actually a sodium factory. So, I'm just thankful to bring this information to the table and to let you know that there are plenty of no-salt salad dressing options out there for you. And so I hope this video was very informative and helpful. And I just want to encourage you again 
If you're just adjusting to a low sodium diet, especially if you have to for medical reasons, I just want to say that you can make the transition and it will benefit your life and your health tremendously. So don't give up and don't turn back. You don't have to hurt yourself with food. And that's not what God intended for us. And most importantly, you know, life isn't just about finding a diet that can sustain your health. That's not the end game. That's not the goal or the meaning of life. Life is a gift from our Father in heaven. He wants us to live with Him eternally as His children. That was His whole plan. We lost that eternal life through our sin. But He loves us so much that He sent His Son Jesus to pay for our sins, to forgive us, to reconcile us back to Himself, to bring us back into His family and to restore unto us that eternal life that we lost through our sin. All we have to do to receive this forgiveness of sins, and this eternal life, and this son and daughtership back into God's family, is to trust that Jesus is our Savior, that He's the Son of God, the very Word of God, who died for us and rose from the dead, so that He could save us from the penalty of our sins eternal separation from God. Jesus is the Father's rescue plan. He loves us, and we need to know that we can't reconcile our sin problem ourselves. But if you don't trust in Jesus, and if you don't know Him and love Him, and if you don't know the Father and love Him, then seek Him with all your heart and you will find Him. Ask Him to help you understand the truth and to help you realize your sin nature and the reality of sin and how sin has separated you and everyone from the Father and how Jesus is the only solution. If you seek Him with all your heart, again, you will find Him. Thanks so much for stopping by and thanks for letting me share. Have a great day.